Hey guys, Sinan Mokota here. Uh, good afternoon. Happy Saturday. Uh, I am coming to you today with another video, Final Fantasy XIV related. So, uh, late last night, uh, we got the uh, Japanese keynote from the Japanese Fan Festival over in Japan for Final Fantasy XIV Shadowbringers. So this video, I'm just going to go over uh, some of the some of the information that uh, was presented, uh, share some of my opinions, and um, I'll leave it with that. So let's head let's head on in. So uh, ever since uh, Final Fantasy XIV Fan Festival 2018 in Las Vegas, Nevada, uh, we never knew where we were going to go. So everyone was speculating: Are we going to Garland Mall? Are we going to uh, Maricidia, are we going to another section of, uh, of the, of the, uh, somewhere near Doma? Um, so, all that speculation was wrong. We are indeed going to the first. What is the first? The first is the first shard. There are 13 shards total in Final Fantasy XIV. Uh, according to the lore and basically what that's doing is uh, We need to go to the shard before it's engulfed by the light so we gotta go back to the past to stop a calamity in the future um, So we are going so we're going there and you can see the first slide there uh, special thanks to I will find the person's name who took the time to uh Oh, here we go. Uh, special thanks to uh, Chilied, yeah, Chilied, uh, for putting everything together, and we're listening to Violet Evergarden in the background. <clears throat> All right. So the first shard's name is called Nor Norvrant. So it's another, it's another uh, time and period in Aorzia's past, and uh, we're going to learn more about it um, in future live letters. And of course, when Shadowbringers comes out in uh, July. So, the fight to restore darkness to the realm begins now. So, we brought a lot of light into the realm, but now we have to flip our coin and bring some more darkness to uh, bring darkness and create balance between the light and the dark. So, uh, the warrior light slash warrior darkness, we got some work to do. But, what has beckoned the Warrior of Light to the first, and what will become of the conflict between the Garlean Empire and his absence? Who knows, shit's gonna get real. It looks like the Shroud is on fuck- I'm, I'm sorry, pardon my French. Uh, it looks like the Shroud is on fire. Um, so, yeah. It might be the Shroud that's on fire, and... It's all out war right now in Aorzea, and meanwhile, we're vacationing on a different world completely. So we'll see. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, here's our new starting city. Uh, the starting city is called the Crystarium. And this looks familiar, doesn't it? It literally looks like the 1.0 uh, area. So we all want to see what 1.0 was, so here we go. Oops. And uh, they just wanted to remind everyone that uh, patch uh, patch 4.56, which is the conclusion to Stormblood's story, uh, is out on Tuesday. So that's uh, three days from now. And we got our new job. The new job is Dancer. Dancer is not a healer. Dancer is a DPS range job. Uh, the main arm is throwing weapons, uh, obviously no associated class, and it starts at level 60. And here we can see the artifact armor that you'll get at level 
probably level 80. Um, a Viera dancer. Looks pretty nice. And basically, uh, they went into a little bit of detail what this all means. So the battle design, and this is the male version, that was the female artifact armor. So the battle design is, uh, we get to throw weapons to deal damage from afar. Um, so similar to Bar, so this will uh, complement Bard and Machinist in a way. Perform dances to execute abilities. Um, so similar to how songs enter, uh, help uh, increase uh, potency to some abilities like Flow's Wrecking Em for magic buff, uh, Mage's Ballad and Army's Peon for uh, critical hits. So we'll see. I'm, I'm going to try it out, but I'm going to stay at Bard Main, I think. Uh, some dances will enhance uh, party members. So yeah, just like songs, that's going to... It's very similar to Bard. A lot of people who are upset that this isn't a heal and they're saying it's like, Oh, this is just a reskin bar. Rah, 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 rah. Whatever. I respect your opinion, but I'm going to disagree with you. Alright. Cool. Cool. Awesome. Alright. Uh, New Game Plus. Uh, that's going to be a thing. Um, I don't know if it's coming out. Uh, I don't know if it's coming out. In the final couple of patch 4.xx uh, patches, or if it's reserved for Shadowbringers, I'm not sure. In the world visit system, that's going to be uh, implemented uh, middle to late April. So, uh, quick little uh, reminder what the world visit system. On your data center, there's a couple of different worlds. So, for instance, let's say they're on Primal and you want to go see someone on uh, Diablos, uh, you can go there. Um, you just can't join any FCs, and you can't sell anything on the market board. Uh, we didn't get much more information on the restoration of the Holy Seed of Ishgar, which is endgame content for uh, your Disciple of Land and Hand uh, disciplines. So, a little disappointing that we didn't get any more information, but what can you do? So, we just have to wait for the next live letter. Hmm. Not the one happening. T not the one happening tonight. Probably uh, a future one. Massive new areas. So, we are jumping into some areas. And one of the first areas that they talked about was Yulmore. Yulmore is a uh, very similar to Ishgar. The wealthy live up, up top of the city and the, um, and the poor live at the bottom of the city. And there's some more... Um, there's some more. Uh, there should some, be some more screenshots in here. If not, um, I will. I will link the uh, trailer and any other information that I find relevant to this video in the description below. Um, this is the uh, concept art for the Crystarium. Notice that that's the Crystal Tower in the back, but the Crystal Tower wasn't in existence back then. So why is there one in the first shard? We're gonna find out, and we're gonna find out. And then they called, uh, and then this is the Lakeland. Uh, it's very. This is what's outside the Crystarium. It, it's very similar to Mordona, but it is not. <clears throat> it is not Mordona, <clears throat> but it does look like Mordona. Uh, since we're going to a different universe, uh, there's a. Uh, the wealthy eat, drink, kind of fat. Uh, so we got some fat cats here. And those must be some really fattening grapes. Um, no, this is not going to be a new... These are Mokote, but they're not going to be new character customization for Mokote to look just like this. Uh, so... This has upset a lot of people. The Vera do not have a male counterpart. I am not upset about that. I do not care that they don't have a male counterpart. 
So they created another playable race that is male only, and those are called the Rothgar. And they're pretty much <clears throat> they're pretty much uh, humanoid lions, as you can see. Um, a lot of people have said, "Oh, they just look like reskin Rogans." Ra 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 ra. They why did why does it have to be why does it have to be a gender lock race? Why does it why can we have Mel Vieira? Ah, <laughs> sorry guys, I'm not. I'm not going to debate that with you in the comments. If you want to debate it, take it to the official forums and be constructive. Um, here's some uh, two characters that they customize. You got the Rothgar on the left and you got the uh, Vera on the right. Uh, they use Fran's model, it looks like. And there's a lot of customization that you can do with both of these, so... Mess around when the benchmark comes out and, you know, create something. So, what type of new beasties are we going to meet? These are going to be called the Scrounge of the First Sin Eaters. Um, I'll be honest, I am, I am freaked out just looking at them. The, the beast on the, on the left is something straight out of Silent Hill. <laughs> and the other one looks like something that I would find in like some demonic game like Devil May Cry. Um, yeah, so those are some of the beasties that we're going to have to fight. Because they, cause they got corrupted by the light. Uh, there's kind of like a, a hierarchy with uh, the Sins of the Light. So if you ever played like Bayonetta... Uh, you notice that there's a book that uh, talks about the various ranks of the angels that you're fighting. It's very similar to that. Um, in this sense, it's one of them. Uh, these are like uh, battle angels, almost. So, who knows? We'll see. We'll see what they are. It might also be, uh, it might also be kind of, instead of fighting primals, we're fighting uh, top rank angels instead for shallow rings, which would be pretty cool. It has, it'll have some uniqueness. All right, here's a reminder, and boy, did this go on Reddit, go on the official forums. Stuff is pretty pretty lit right now over there. So two new playable races, the Viera and the Rothgar. Male o Rothgar are male only, Viera are female only. Both have unique heads, both have unique character customization, customizable features, and both have two clans. So, a lot of people are upset. I expect Square Enix to be like, <clears throat> in the future, to be like, it's like, oh, no, 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 the the male and female, the, the male uh, variant of the Viera, they were still very much under development. We couldn't reveal that information yet. And the Rothgar, yes, yes, we are, we were working on the female variant, but it just wasn't ready yet. I can see Square Enix doing something like that in like uh, 4 point in like 5.5 or 6.0 who knows but a lot of people are upset I'm not it doesn't affect me so I really don't want to debate it in the comments below in the video please take it to reddit or or the official forums or discord I do not want to debate and then they went over some of uh, the they gave us some dungeon uh, screenshots. Uh, the dungeons are still very much in the uh, balancing phase, so no uh, video or anything. And a lot of these areas do have videos, and I'll link all that information in the description below so you can go watch it. Uh, here's one new dungeon. Got some more stuff on fire. Uh, this is this is easily the 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 fair the the pixie land that we're going to. And in the middle, that looks like a heart, so let's see. It looks like a pretty cool dungeon. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, here's another dungeon. Uh, very, they mentioned this is going to be very similar to the Sunken Temple of Corn. Um, so we'll see what we'll, we'll see what they do. It can't, it can't be that bad. Uh, they talked a little bit about the uh, new NPC trust system. They didn't go into much detail, but they did say that these uh, first four characters would be uh, one of the many trusts that you can have 
a lot of NPCs are going to be part of the trust system. So just because you only see Thancrated, Yashola, I'm sorry, Yashola, Matoya. Uh, why do I keep forgetting your name? Menphilia. Oh, shit. What was, what's his, I keep forgetting, what is his name? Anyways, the LZ in the in the mid, in, in the third one there, whose name escapes my mind right now, will also be in there. And he's he's been he's been with the Scions for oh, you're you're younger, Jay. Yeah, sorry, he'll be in there too. Um, challenging new new high end rates. So they talked a little bit about this, and they did reveal this. This is the final raid. Yes. This is going to be the high-end raid. This is going to be what everyone tries to be. A tree. <laughs> Just kidding. No, no. The, the actual name is, uh, is going to be called Eden. And this tree symbolizes something in that, uh, in that Chavish Tira raid. So, not a lot of information. Kind of disappointed. I really wanted to know more. Um, but Tetsu Nomura is the character and boss designer. Just the design. Not the battle. Not the story. Just the characters. Um, for this upcoming raid. Um, they, of course, didn't go into, they didn't go into any detail on... The Yora Dark Apocalypse 24 player raid. We probably won't hear any information about this until probably sometime closer to 4.1. 4. I'm, I'm sorry, not 4.1, 5.1. Yeah. Yeah, that's when we'll hear more about it. Uh, so, you got the character design and boss design, Tetsu uh, Nomura. Uh,. God, Screen's cut no more a break. He needs to fin he has he needs to finish uh Final Fantasy VII remake and he needs to uh flesh out Kingdom Hearts 3 even further. So we'll see what we'll see what Nomura does. And one of the characters that Nomura drew was uh Gaia. Uh she has a hammer here, so a ham this is likely um gonna be a geomancer job that we'll get more details about i expect them to pull something like they did with ninja where they released a new a new full job halfway through because now they have the resources to do so so looking forward to it um looking forward to learn more about uh her and her hammer so it's, it could be geomancy uh we'll find out And since we're uh, transitioning from the source to the first, uh, they they gave us uh, translations on what each of the races are on the uh, compared to the source on the first. So, the Hyor are called Humes, the Mikote are called Mistel, Elzian, Els, Rogadin, Gelgent, Alra, Zron, Lalafel, Dwarves. <laughs> So, the races have different names on the first. So that'll be that'll be pretty cool. Uh, so they are going to be a new beast tribe. They're called the dwarves. Never without their helmets. Never without their beards. Experts in mining and metal and metallurgy. Um, so expert uh expert craftsmen. Let's say that. And they're, they're Lala Fells, or dwarves. Since we're on the first, we're going to call them dwarves. And here's just some uh, in-game in screenshots of the dwarves uh, places. Um, they kind of threw a little bit of shade, saying it's like, if you want to get into these homes, just buy a fan chase and go to a Lala Fell. No. No, 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 no. I'm not going to do that. Nah. Uh, some more uh, dwarf uh, housing. And if you're a tall character like most of us likely are, 
Uh, you have to look through the windows to see what's uh, going on inside. And here's what's going on, on the inside from that screenshot above. And then they talked about early access, how it begins on June 28th, 2019. Um, you got uh, you got our main baddie here. Minfilia, um, whoever that is. Yashola, Matoya, Dankre, Yuriange, Elize, Warrior Darkness, and Alphanude. And that was the end of it. Please look forward to it. Hi. Annoying. I want more. I'll be honest with you, I want a little bit more detail than what we got, but I usually uh, don't have a lot of. Lot, I usually try to curb my expectation for keynotes because I know there's going to be um, there's going to be a lot of producer from the letter lives that will dive into more information on each of these points. Um, but anyways, guys, I am looking forward to it. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments down below. If you like this video, give it a like. If you dislike this video, go ahead and dislike it. And if there's anything that I can improve, post down below your constructive criticism. Uh, anyways, guys, uh, thank you again for watching, and have a good rest of your weekend. Talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.